Creating RFID labels with CodeSoft Enterprise RFID software is super easy and today we're going to take a look at how it's done. The first step in creating RFID labels is to make sure that the hardware that we're using and the driver that we're using support RFID technology. So you'll notice here the RFID button is grayed out. So if I go to select my printer, uh, we can intuitively say that the PDF printer is not an RFID device. But the ZT610, when I select it and hit OK here, we'll notice that the button comes to life and we can select it. And so this type of printer supports EPC type tags uh, as part of the functionality and the technology of the printer. And as soon as we select that, we could get to all the other properties of the tag, like the size, the class, the, the certain data that we're, we're putting in here. This is also where we would lock the tag as well. Um, all these different properties. For now, we'll leave everything for defaults and I'll hit OK. Um, and that will bring up the data that I can encode into this tag. And you'll notice that there is a visual down here of the tag itself. This is not representative of where the tag is on your label. Uh, no matter where the tag is, if it's you know a couple inches in the middle, the printer will know to encode it. This is just a visual reference for you to say, hey, this is where uh, this list label will be encoded with RFID. Uh, so as far as the data goes, we have a few different formats we can select. We can select ASCII data, hexadecimal data, or a structured uh, data stream in here. And that's what we're gonna use today for this example. I can select the identifier to be the SG1096. And as I do that, you'll notice immediately all the different properties of that particular identifier are, are presented to me for encoding. And I can modify these as I need to. So I'll leave the header and the filter at their default values, but the partition I'll set to be partition six. And then we can use these other properties of that uh, this identifier to, to encode the tag. So we can type in the company prefix if we like to. I can type in all these values. What I think is a little bit more valuable is actually linking these to a variable that already exists on the label. So that if this data needs to change ever, we don't have to go into the tag properties and type this in again, but instead we can quickly allow for a user to type these in or pull from a database, for example. So for the company prefix, I'll use the data source RFID prefix. And then the item reference, I'll use RFID reference and the serial number I have as a counter field. And that is named RFID serial. So now we can see that I am ready to encode with these data points uh, while printing. And it's, it's as simple as that, we hit okay. And then we can go through our regular print process with our users as if we weren't using RFID labels. And we can have the user enter all this data. And upon print, the label will be printed and the tag will be encoded in the same stroke. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at www.techlinks.com or visit our support center at support.techlinks.com.